anybody who is preparing for their exams you expect a question like this if it's gce or internal grade 12 expect this question which carries a good number of marks so if you're able to see nicely this question is under linear programming it's paper one linear programming where you only need four signs so the first sign looks like this greater or equal to so this is greater greater or equal to okay the next one it's the opposite so this is less less or equal to okay two remember that the, th the, the third one it's like this greater than this is greater than the next one will be like this this is a less than so these are the four signs or symbols you need to know so for greater than or equal to this goes with the solid lines a line which is not dotted okay this one goes also with the solid lines for example if you can see this inequality here this inequality is a solid line and when you look at it the side where we've got unshaded region it's this side so we're going to say x is less or equal to 2. Now these two, they deal with the dotted lines like this. Even this, these are dotted lines. Remember, the first two deal with the solid lines. The second two deals, uh, I mean, deal with the um, dotted lines. So now let's try to apply these or use them to answer our question right here. So um, I, I like encouraging people that when uh, answering questions like this, start with simple inequalities. So like this one, it's only cutting the x-axis at 2. So we're going to say this is a x-axis. Remember, this is x-axis. And then... The sign should be less or equal to 2. Okay? X is less or equal to 2 because it's passing at a 2 on the x axis. Okay? So we can show that this is a x is less or equal to 2. Now, how did I know that it's supposed to be less? We always get the side which is not shaded. This is a side which is not shaded. To show the less is the unshaded region. The next one will be this one. <coughs> this is y axis is less than a 6. I'm not putting the equal, I'm just saying y is less than 6 because it's passing at 6 here on the y axis at 6, and the bottom part, the less, is what is not shaded. So we shall say y is less than 6. We're not putting the equal because it's dotted. So that's it. So we can indicate that this is a y is less than a 6. The next one will be, of course, this one here. This. So this inequality, we should identify the, 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 the coordinates. So here where it's passing, it's passing at a negative 2 comma 0 this and here where it's passing it's at a, a 0 comma 4. I know somebody may be asking that why are we picking coordinates for this one? This inequality has got a gradient. It has got a slope. It's not stra uh, straight like this one or this one. It's slant like this. So it has got a slope. You have to pick the coordinates when uh, it has got a slope. So we can say the coordinates there are 
negative two comma negative two comma zero and here it's a zero comma four we now use a gradient formula we find the gradient which is the slope and this is the formula we use whenever we want to find the gradient this is a slope so we can say that this is our x1 y1 x2 y2 i know some people ask that how do we get to know which one is our x1 and which one is our y1 there is nothing like that okay if you want you can start with these two if these two are your x1 and y1 these will be your tools okay if these are ones these are your tools since these are ones these will be our twos and remember that the first number represents the x-axis the second number represents the y-axis so here we can substitute we are getting a 4 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 2 and remember whichever number that has got a negative sign should be put inside the brackets so here we have a 4 over a 2 this and this will give us a positive so 0 plus 2 will be a 2 4 minus uh, 0 is just uh, a 4 of which this is giving us a 2 so our gradient or slope for this is a 2 so now that we've gotten the gradient we can write that uh, our m which is a gradient is a 2 so m here is a 2 let's now find the line of a, or equation of a straight line to find equation of the straight line you need this uh, formula so if you've seen whenever you want to find equation of a straight line you need two formulas formula the one that you used for the gradient and also this other formula for finding equation of a straight line so when when you do that you pick n of the coordinates if you want you can work with these or if you want this in my case i'll pick a 0 comma 4. i know that this is my x-axis this is my y-axis x-axis y-axis so get your y-axis write it here equal to the m is a 2 so this is a 2 x-axis here is a 0 you can see plus c we're solving for c so this is a 4 equal to c you can see that uh, the value of uh, c is equal to 4 because this will give us a 0 0 plus c is a c and uh, we are getting that to be equal to a 4 okay so from here we can say uh, y is equal to maintain the y here is equal to the m is a 2 and then x there plus the c here is a is a 4 so this is the equation of a straight line now to show the inequality we're going to say this is y is less or equal to 2x plus a 4 have you seen this one the line here is a y is equal to 2x plus 4 but the inequality we want where it's not shaded so now look at this inequality where it's not shaded it's down right here it's to the less so it's less than uh less or equal to 2x plus uh, 4. that's it we now go to the last inequality our last inequality here is uh of course this one so for this inequality we we'll pick the coordinates this is a uh, 0 comma 0 because it has got slope it's not straight it has got a slope so this is 0 comma 0 because it's passing at the origin it's 0 comma 0 and here in an exam question this part was not given but i've decided to put it if you're able to see there is a point which was straight with 2 and here negative 2 so we can say this is negative 2 comma 2 and this is the point so the coordinates will be 0 comma 0 and uh, negative 2 comma 2 so using the formula of finding gradient this uh, will just be the same 
okay method like we did with the with uh, this one so we can say this is our x1 y1 x2 y2 we're getting a 2 minus 0 over negative 2 minus 0 now remember one more thing one important thing i said whenever you've got a negative number put it inside the brackets here if you want you can put it or not but if it's coming after after the minus sign remember to put it inside the brackets so this will be like this and our answer is coming out to be equal to negative one so we now know that uh, the gradient is a uh, negative one or the slope is negative uh, negative one okay so once we get this that uh, that slope we can now use equation for finding uh, or formula for finding equation of the straight line which is a y equal to m x plus uh, c pick n of the coordinates i'll pick this if you want you can pick this we we'll still get the same answer so I've decided to pick 0, 0, so y-axis is a 0 equal to negative 1, that's our m, 0 here plus c. And when you simplify, the value of c is coming out to be equal to 0, because this will cancel, will remain with 0 equal to c. So we can say y is equal to negative x plus zero or negative one x plus zero of which this will just come out to be equal to y equal to let me write it here let me write it here y equal to negative x okay so this is a zero and this is the negative x so now we we'll show the inequality here that this is y is greater when you look at this inequality where it's not shaded, it's the top, is greater than a negative x. I'm not putting equal to because the sign, I mean the, the inequality is a dotted. It's not a board line. That's it. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please remember that we offer online tuitions. And if you really want to join our online tuitions, this is the number. You can get in touch with us on. We will be able to help you pass your exams. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob and bye-bye.